This is Streamline News for Tuesday, December 21st, 2010, brought to you by SwimOutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. Many of the top American swimmers from the Short Course World Championships have arrived back in the United States safe and sound, but a few of them aren't resting on their laurels. Garrett Weber Gale, who won a gold and silver on the American Relays, tweeted that he's visiting relatives in Wisconsin this week, but that doesn't mean he's staying away from the pool or the weight room. The official roster for next summer's Worlds hasn't been released yet, but Weber Gale is likely to be on at least one relay for the USA. And sources tell us that Ryan Lochte was back in Gainesville, Florida yesterday in time for Greg Troy's afternoon workout. That means he basically got no days off after swimming at the World Championships. And as we told you on yesterday's show, Lochte told the media in Dubai that he wasn't fully rested for Worlds, so the seven-time medalist is already focused on next summer's World Championships, which is the next big competition for the U.S. national team. Lochte can't afford to take any time off. Next week, he'll be joined in the pool by Peter Vanderkay, who announced on his website yesterday that he's moving to Gainesville to get ready for 2012. Vander K wrote that things were, quote, too comfortable for me because it's so familiar in Ann Arbor, where he's been for nine years. Vander K is still at or near the top of the American rankings in the middle distance and distance freestyle, but he said he wanted to, quote, shake things up in his preparation for what could be his final Olympic appearance. Across the pond in the UK, Rebecca Adlington was named the Aquatics Athlete of the Year by the British Olympic Association. Adlington won the 400 free at the European Championships and the 400 and 800 freestyles at the Commonwealth Games. And Thomas da diver Thomas Daly won the BBC Young Personality of the Year award for the third time in four years after winning double gold on the platform at the Commonwealth Games. Daly was also a nominee for the overall Sports Personality of the Year in Great Britain, but lost to horse jockey Tony McCoy. That's Streamline News for today. Thanks for watching.